In the cold December sky, over Scandinavia, a passenger airliner is climbing its way through an overcast layer of low-lying clouds. The aircraft has just taken off, but a series of loud bangs and the violent shaking are leaving the passengers terrified and the flight crew puzzled. As the pilots focus on troubleshooting the problem and discuss returning to the airport, both engines begin to spool down. A frightening realization hits the flight crew. They might not make it back to the airport before running out of altitude, yet still flying through a dense cloud. They can't see ahead and don't know where to land. With 129 lives at stake, the captain must make a quick decision, testing the limits of his skills and airmanship. Can he turn his bad luck into a miracle, or will this event become one of Sweden's darkest days? This is the story of SAS Flight 751. Left the gate carrying 123 passengers and six crew members. After starting the engines and completing the necessary departure checks, the pilots taxied the aircraft over to the de-icing bay. Per the instructions from the crew, a qualified ground crew began to spray a hot glycol solution over the wings to remove the snow from the surface. Concerned about the frost, the captain asked the ground crew to pay special attention to the underside of both wings. The de-ice workers confirmed to him that all frost was removed, but neither employee at SAS realized that the cold corners remained covered in clear ice. Through a series of slips and cracks in the process, SAS Flight 751 left the ramp with significant contamination on its wings, putting 129 lives in grave danger without their knowledge. Given the go-ahead from the ground crew, Captain Rasmussen took the aircraft onto the taxiway and headed out toward runway 08. Within a few minutes, the pilots completed the required pre-takeoff checks, and at 8.45, the MD-81 was lined up on the runway and ready to begin its journey. As the captain applied takeoff power, the engine spooled up and the aircraft began to accelerate. The MD-81 lifted off the ground shortly thereafter, starting a gentle climb from wintry Stockholm. These were the last few peaceful moments on board Flight 751. Only 25 seconds later, as the airplane was crossing an altitude of 1,100 feet above the ground and entering a cloud layer, a series of loud bangs coming from the tail section shook the entire cabin, alarming the pilots. I believe it's the